Hey, how's it going guys? It's Charles with West USA Realty and today we're going to go over our main numbers for our real estate market. So if this is your first time watching the show, what we go over here, we go over our active listings for the month of May, sold listings, we go over median sale price, we also go over months of supply, and then we look at days on market. So let's jump into it and take a look now. As always with these numbers, real estate at its earliest is 30 days behind. So this is year over year reporting, it's for May, but the numbers that we have are for the month prior. So all these are April of 2021 versus April of 2020. So we're gonna see some really cool, interesting things here when we look at the numbers. Uh, so when we look at our active listing guys, uh, we are actually down about 71% on average in the West Valley. And this is just the West Valley. We do include Phoenix as our hub. Uh, but the top city is actually Waddell. Waddell was down 8.7% almost eight point, excuse me, 88% when it comes to the numbers as far as down active listings. And a lot of that has to do with how Waddell structured. Waddell went through a wave of, of uh, new builds that were being built. So Waddell's one of those cities where you're gonna have these giant acre, uh, at this point, million dollar horse properties, uh, but you're also gonna have communities being built for new builds. So depending on when those new builds are gonna be hitting and people are actually moving in, is gonna really affect the numbers and you're gonna see Waddell go up and down as far as spikes and peaks and valleys when it comes to their numbers. Uh, so that's what I believe is why we're seeing such a huge drop for Waddell, simply because that demand or the, uh, excuse me, the inventory just wasn't there because of the, the new home builds. Uh, they just all sold. There's only so many that can happen at once, right? So sold listings. Typically the same city follows and sold listings because it's usually the, the speed of how they're selling that affects those numbers. But uh, when it comes to sold listings, actually Sun City has the biggest spike. On average, we're at 29%, but Sun City was almost 70% more homes that were sold. And you gotta think, if we're looking at 2021 to 2020, what happened in 2020? We were in the midst of you know, the biggest fear thing in the world as far as the shutdown. It affected the older population, Sun City, active community, 55 and up. So this all makes sense when I'm looking at the numbers. Median sales price per square foot. Uh, on average, we went up about 26%, which is really cool. Um, Buckeye, went up the highest, it went up 32%, almost 33% as far as their median price per square foot. And that just tells me that Buckeye is being built out. And when I look at the numbers on the, the, the what that number is as far as the average price per square footage of that city versus other cities, Buckeye is just a little bit under to where the other cities are bringing up that value. And uh, I think it's really being built out right now so people see the value uh, to move the Buckeye. When we're looking at months of supply, Waddell, of course, is the winner with that one, but on average, we're down 77, almost 78% uh, months of supply. And median days on market, guys, this is ridiculous. Uh, we are down almost 50% when it comes to that number. El Mirage is about six days for a house to sell in El Mirage. So this, these are the numbers I have for the West Valley, guys, for this market update, and I will catch you next time.